Yes, let's talk about the next country, which is the United Kingdom, with Freya Sky. And I have to say, this is one of my, this is my, based on the songs this year, this is my winner. And I have already seen her perform on Children Need uh, the Gala. And I saw her live performance, and I thought she was fantastic, even though she was very ner nervous. You can hear that in the voice. So, I wonder how she would handle it. So, let's see Freya Sky. And this is my winner this year, so I have maybe the highest expectations on the UK then now. Let's watch. And we spin the magic, darling. Come on, Freya. You can do it. Oh, I love the background. Oh, she did. No, don't tell me she has vocalicious as well. <sighs> no, <laughs> don't tell me she has vocalicious as well. I don't know what the medical issue is, but for now, I have to say, don't tell me she has it as well. I rem the la the last time I remember this happened is was when Carola won back in 2006 and uh, straight after the national selection finals with the uh, invincible or evighet she has vocal cord issues she had it for f two months and during the rehearsal in uh, Athens that year she had to lip sync through her rehearsals and oh god no don't tell me she has vocal issues This hurts me because this is my winner. But the thing is that she has such a strong song. The staging is amazing. I love the crown. I love the throne, and I think they have staged this amazingly. But would this cost her the victory? Because I don't know what her medical issues is, but I guessing, guessing is the voice, is the vocal. She has vocal problems. I guessing that. Ooh, this is very hard. Anywho, Freyas, I pray I praise to the Jesus of Eurovision Geeks, the Lord and the universe that you go you feel well on Sunday and you slay this because you are my winner this year. You have the best song of everyone. You have the coolest staging. One of the best staging. I love the throne. And can you can UK send something like this in 2023 when you hold it in Liverpool? You will slay. And if you do well, I hope they invite you to perform in Eurovision in uh, May next year. You deserve it, girl. Anyway, one country left.